Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mama, and if you use Gmail, you need to watch this quick video to avoid a potentially big problem. Gmail, that's email from Google, of course, launched in 2004 and quickly became popular. It now has over a billion active users. You're probably one of them. One reason it was so popular was that it's free, but there's a catch. You only get a certain amount of storage space in your account with Google for your Gmail and your documents and your other stuff. Once that free space is full, your email will start getting rejected. You won't be able to receive any email anymore. Google tries to warn you when your account is nearly full with messages like this, but you might have missed that message or not know what to do if you get such a warning. You really only have two options, clean out your account or pay for more space. And since many of us have now been using Gmail for years and years, accumulating tons of email, this problem is becoming really common. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check if your Google account is getting full and then what to do if it is. The good news is it's easy and just takes a few seconds to check the status of your account. Here's how. First, on a Mac or a PC, doesn't matter which, open any web browser. It can be Safari, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, whatever you prefer. Then go to your Gmail account. There's lots of ways to do that, of course, but one simple one is to type in the address bar at the top here gmail.com and then press enter or return on your keyboard. If you don't usually access Gmail this way, you may need to log in with your Gmail address and password just once. Once you're looking at your Gmail inbox, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and look here to see how full your account is. As you can see, this demo account is using very little space so far, 0%, but your account may look quite different. So if you see that you're approaching 100%, click here on Manage, and that will take you to this screen where you can see the pricing for additional storage in your account. Remember, this is space in the cloud, not on your computer. Most people will be fine with the basic option, which is only $19.99, let's call it $20 a year, but you may be thinking, why do I want to pay Google $20 a year, at least, for the rest of my life? If you'd rather not subscribe and save the money, you'll need to spend some time and effort clearing out old unneeded email and documents and so on so that there's room for new stuff. We'll cover some techniques for doing that in another video. But there's an additional reason that it might be a good idea to subscribe, because that $20 a year not only gives you more space, it also gives you access to Google support. If you get locked out of your account or you're having some other kind of issue with Google, having access to support can be a lifesaver. So unless you're on a very tight budget, paying the 20 bucks a year is probably a better choice for most people. Notice that if you click here, you're paying $1.99 a month, but if you click here, then it's $19.99 for the whole year. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments and questions below, and please click the like button and subscribe if you found this helpful.